Hola, bienvenidos to Storytime Online. My name is Cynthia and I'm a Youth Program Specialist with the Orange County Library System. Our Storytime theme today is Cuentos del Caribe and is geared to children ages 3 to 5. We're going to be taking a trip around the Caribbean to experience the songs and stories from the Hispanic culture on these beautiful islands, all in celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. This program is based off of Every Child Ready to Read, which uses early literacy skills of reading, writing, singing, talking, and playing. Caregiver, you are your child's best role model, so please join in and have fun with your child as we get this fiesta started. Let's start with our hello song. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? En español? Okay. Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están hoy? Today we're having a fiesta, a party, to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. From September 15th to October 15th, we honor the richness of Latino culture and heritage. We're going to travel to a few countries in El Caribe to learn more about the Hispanic culture in this part of the world. We're visiting three special countries today, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Cuba. Hey, do you notice something similar on these flags? Hmm, something that makes them the same? Yes, you're right! They all have the colors red, white, and blue. Rojo, blanco, azul. Those are three colors. Tres colores. Can you count with me? Uno, dos, tres. One, two, three. Caregiver, when you ask your children open-ended questions, ones that can't be answered with yes or no, you have a way to learn what they're thinking and what they already know. And by listening to what they say, you can build on their background knowledge by adding more information or ideas as you talk together. Now, the first country we're visiting today is Puerto Rico. That would be our first bandera, our first flag. Now, Puerto Rico has a special animal that lives only on this island. Do you know what it is? Muy bien! Yes, it's a frog. But it's not just any frog. This is a coqui frog. And coquis are so tiny, as small as the first part of your thumb. Can you show me how small your coqui would be? Wow! It's so small! Well, I have more coquis here. And as I add them, I can let you know that the reason why they are called coquis is because of the sound they make. Can you guess what the sound is? Oh, it's not ribbit, ribbit. It's coqui, coqui. Isn't that cool? So I have all of my coqui frogs here. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, Five. En español, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Excelente. Cinco green and speckled cookies sitting on a speckled leaf. High up in the trees tonight, they sing softly out of sight. One jumped down to say good night. Cookie, 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 cookie. Now there are. Si. Sí. Four cookies, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cuatro green and speckled cookies sitting on a speckled leaf. High up in the trees tonight, they sing softly out of sight. One jumped down to say good night, cookie, cookie, cookie. Now there are three cookies. Muy bien. Uno, dos, tres. Three green and speckled cookies sitting on a speckled leaf. High up in the trees tonight, they sing softly out of sight. One jump down to say good night, cookie, cookie. Now there are two cookies. One, two, uno, dos. Dos green and speckled cookies sitting on a speckled leaf. 
High up in the trees tonight, they sing softly out of sight. One jumped down to say goodnight, Cookie. Now there is one cookie. Uno. Muy bien. Uno. Green and speckled cookie sitting on a speckled leaf. High up in the trees tonight, it sings softly out of sight. It jumped down to say goodnight, Cookie. Now there are no cookies. Muy buen trabajo talking about the cookie and counting with me. Now are you ready to visit our next country? Let's go to La República Dominicana, the Dominican Republic. Let's really get this fiesta started by learning a popular children's game from the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Are you ready to learn the actions for the song? Okay, vámonos, stand up. Let's all get ready. There are three actions or motions to the song. The first one is adelante. So when you hear adelante, we're going to move forward. The second action or movement is para atrás. And when you hear para atrás, we're going to move back. And the third action or movement is dando la vuelta. What do you think dando la vuelta means? Yes, turn around. So when you hear dando la vuelta, we're going to turn around. Are you ready to sing and dance with me? All right, let's go. Chequi morena, chequi. Chequi morena, hey. ¿A dónde está ese ritmo caramba del merecumbe? Hey, un paso adelante y otro para atrás. Y dando la vuelta, dando la vuelta, ¿quién se quedará? Hey, shake it, morena, shake it. Shake it, morena, hey. Where's that crazy rhythm? of the merecumbe, hey, a little step forward, then another step back, and turn around and turn around, who will be next, hey! Wasn't that so much fun? In that song, we learned some new words. And at home, as you sing, talk, read, write, and play with your children, remember to introduce them to new words daily, because the more words they know, the easier it'll be for them to understand what they're reading as they learn to read in school. Well, amigos, it's time for our last country to visit. Do you remember which one it is? Sí, Cuba. And just like Puerto Rico and La República Dominicana, Cuba has wonderful folk tales that have been passed down from generation to generation. Let's listen to this story about a very bossy gallito. Do you know what a gallo is? Yes, it's a rooster, very good. And what sound does a rooster make? <laughs> Perfect, cock-a-doodle-doo. Now in Espanol, the rooster, el gallo says, kikiriki, can you try? Wow, that was perfect. You make a great little rooster. <laughs> well, this rooster, this gallo, is on his way to his uncle Perico's wedding, his Tio Perico. And along the way, he finds some trouble. Let's listen to the story of Kiriko the rooster, El Basi Gatito. One day, Kiriko the rooster was on his way to his uncle Perico's wedding, his Tio Perico. But he started getting a little hungry. And on the way, he saw a little gusano, a worm. And he thought, hmm. I'm so hungry, but if I eat this worm, my pico, my beak, will get dirty. And I can't go to the wedding of my tío Perico with a dirty pico. Should I eat it or not eat it? Well, Kiriko the rooster decided he was too hungry to wait. So he ate that little worm and continued on his way. As he walked, he came upon a river and saw his reflection and he thought, oh no, my beak, oh, my beak, it really did get dirty. He looked around and saw a patch of grass and he said, Yerba, grass, clean my beak so I can go to the wedding of my tío Perico. Now the grass didn't like to be told what to do and said, hmm, no, I will not. Well. Kiriko the rooster did not like that answer, but he continued on his way until he found una cabra, a goat. Hey, cabra, said Kiriko. 
Go eat that yerba that didn't want to clean my pico so I can go to the wedding of my tío Perico. Now the cabra, the goat, didn't like how Kiriko was talking to her. So she said, nah, no, I will not. Well now, Kiriko was getting a little mad and he looked around and he found un palo, a stick. Hey, palo, yelled Kiriko. Go hit that cabra that didn't want to eat la yerba, that didn't want to clean my pico so I can go to the wedding of my tío Perico. What do you think the stick said? <laughs> You're right. The stick said, no, I will not. Well, as you can imagine, Kiriko was getting a little fed up, but he continued on his way until he found some fire, un fuego. Hey, fuego, yelled Kiriko. Go burn that palo that didn't want to hit the cabra, that didn't want to eat the yerba, who didn't want to clean my pico so I can go to the wedding of my tío Perico. Well, the fire burned really bright and said, no, I will not. Well, now Kiriko had had enough. He ran back to that river and he looked into the water and he said, agua. Go quench the fire that didn't want to burn el palo, that didn't want to hit the cabra, that didn't want to eat the yerba, that didn't want to clean my pico so I can go to the wedding of my tío Perico. And of course, what did the agua say? Yes, the agua said, no, Kiriko, I will not. Well, Kiriko was at his wit's end. He looked up into the sky and found El Sol. And he said, hey, Sol, I sing to you every morning to wake you up. You're my best friend. Can you dry up the agua that didn't want to quench el fuego, that didn't want to burn el palo, who didn't want to hit the cabra, who didn't want to eat the yerba, that didn't want to clean my pico so I can finally go to the wedding of my tío Perico? Well, El Sol thought about it for a while, and she said, you know what, Kiriko, you're right. You are my best friend. And you sing that beautiful song to me every morning to wake you up. For you, I will do it. All of the others grew frantic and started to panic. The agua said, okay, Kiriko, I will quench the fire. But the fire burned very, very bright and said, no, wait, I will burn el palo. The palo started hopping away and said, wait, I'll go, I'll hit the cabra. The cabra, no, <laughs> I'll eat that yerba. And finally, the grass said, everyone stop. I will do it. I will clean your pico so you can go to the wedding of your tío Perico. And with that, Kiriko went on his way to have a fabulous time at the fiesta. Wasn't that a great story? If you want to learn more or read more about the wonderful countries we've been visiting today, check out the Vamanos series by Patty Rodriguez. These books are full of vibrant images of popular places in the countries we've been talking about. And if you've been having lots of fun with the folk tales and activities and songs, definitely check out Sheke Morena and other folk tales from Puerto Rico by Carmen T. Bernier Grant. There's so many activities and songs and rhymes straight from Puerto Rico. El Caribe, the Caribbean, has so many wonderful stories and nursery rhymes. What's your favorite? Hey, I like that one too. Well, here's a rhyme about Elena la ballena. Elena the whale. Elena la ballena went to sail the open seas, across the tumbling waves as far as the eye could see. Elena la ballena will return with the morning sun. She'll bring us back a gift, una estrellita de mar. Elena la ballena opens her quita sol. She goes off on another adventure as we wave and shout adios. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. I had so much fun traveling around El Caribe with you. See you next time. Hasta luego.